Head Excel, A Level Maths, Statistics and Mechanics, Summer 2018, Question 5. The lifetime L hours of a battery has a normal distribution with mean 18 hours and standard deviation 4 hours. Alice's calculator requires four batteries and will stop working when any one battery reaches the end of its lifetime. We need to find the probability that a randomly selected battery will last for longer than 16 hours. So this is being modelled as a normal distribution. We've been told that the mean is 18 and our standard deviation is 4, hence variance of 4 squared. And using the normal distribution function on the calculator with those values we get that the probability of L larger than 16 equals 0.691 to three significant figures. Now at the start of her exams, Alice puts four new batteries in her calculator. She's used her calculator for 16 hours, but has another four hours of exams to sit. We want to find the probability that her calculator will not stop working for Alice's remaining exams. So she's got another four hours left so we need the calculator to last for more than 20 hours, 16 plus 4, but we already know that it's lasted 16. So we're working out the probability that L is larger than 20, given that L is already larger than 16. Now if we think of our formula for conditional probability, we know that the probability of A given B equals the probability of A intersect B, all divided by the probability of B. Now if the battery is lasting longer than 20 hours, well it's already lasted longer than 16, so the intersect of larger than 20 and larger than 16 is just larger than 20. So we're going to do the probability of L larger than 20 divided by the probability of L larger than 16. Again using the normal distribution function on the calculator with our mean and standard deviation from above, we get probability of L larger than 20 is 0.3085. We've got our answer from part A on the bottom, 0.6914. Dividing them gives us an answer of 0.44621. Now this is just for one battery. This is the probability that one battery will last, but she's got four batteries. So the probability of our calculator working is our last answer to the power of four, which is 0.0396. Alice only has two new batteries, so after the first 16 hours of her exam, although her calculator is still working, she randomly selects two of the batteries from her calculator and replaces these with the two new batteries. Show that the probability that her calculator will not start working for the remainder of her exams is 0.199 to three significant figures. So we've got two batteries that we only need to last for four hours. So using the normal distribution on the calculator with the same mean, and standard deviation as before, we get that the probability of L larger than 4 is 0.999767. We know already that the probability of L larger than 20, given L larger than 16, is 0.44621. So we've got two batteries that have a probability 0.999767, two batteries with a probability of 0.44621 of lasting. So the probability of the calculator working is the first answer squared times by the second answer squared, which is 0.199 as required. Now after her exams, Alice believed that the lifetime of the batteries was more than 18 hours. She took a random sample of 20 of these batteries and found that their mean lifetime was 19.2 hours. Stating your hypotheses clearly and using a 5% level of significance test Alice's belief. So our null hypothesis is that the mean is the 18 that was stated at the beginning. But our alternative hypothesis is that mu is larger than 18 because Alice thinks they last longer. Now as we're just doing a sample here, we're now going to model L bar. Still a normal distribution, the mean is still 18, but we're going to divide our variance by 20. So we've got 4 squared over 20. By square rooting this, this will give us a standard deviation of 4 over root 20, which is going to be the new value we use for the normal function on our calculator. So we want the probability that L bar is larger than 19.2, as Alice got, 
using the normal distribution function with our new values for the mean and the standard deviation, we get 0.0899. Now this is larger than the 5% level of significance, hence it's not unlikely enough to have changed anything, so it's not significant, and we say there's insufficient evidence to support Alice's claim. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.